The New Jersey Ultra. So it is now April 17th and that race is literally a week and a half away. So I told you I was gonna show you what I've been doing as far as training and here's some of the things that I've done. Spartan races so far up until from January in the January so now I have done about nine races even went to Seattle for the trail the first ever trail did that um, done Chino California's race done Charlotte you know I know those videos will be posted up soon but some of the footage you've just seen is from actually some of those races so what is a New Jersey Ultra so if you don't know what a New Jersey Ultra is it is uh, pretty much the Spartan Beast but two laps and a little extra. And you know, like I said, I've done it once years ago when Norman Cox was designing the course and now we got a new designer. So let me see how this one goes. Now it's hit or miss on the actual mileage of the ultra. You're looking at anywhere between 20 to 30 miles. You know, so you're looking at different distances there. And you know, you got the bucket carry, the sandbag carry, barbed wire crawls, things like that. Oh, we're taking a nice little walk here. So there's a bunch of different things you do in these races. Now, I'm not sure how long you got to complete it, but the last time it took me forever, it was not in the proper shape to do that race, but somehow I still made it, found a good pace, had a good partner. So I like to run with people when I do big races like that, which is good for me uh, at the end of the day. But if you're preparing for your New Jersey Ultra, you make sure that you have the right equipment and you have the right stuff in your your bin because you bring a bin for your halfway point so after you finish your first lap you go to another section you don't go to the finish line you go to another section and you put your tire in that bin so what i like to do is have a change of clothes change my shoes change uh you know if i got i don't really wear gloves and all like that i don't particularly wear a uh camel pack I'm big enough, I don't need anything weighing me down. So I don't do that. And food, you need food. I did my first ultra with no food and <laughs> it's gonna die. So you make sure you have all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much what it comes down to for the ultra. And you will see, I have no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna make it, but it just depends on how long it takes me or if I get injured again. So we'll see how that goes. Other than that, stay tuned. You're gonna get a 
I'm gonna have a couple other people that's doing the ultra with me. I'm gonna interview them to see how they feel before and after the ultra. All right. So thanks for watching, and this is what's gonna happen. Peace.